President M. Russell Ballard, acting president of the Quorum of the Twelve of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, was laid to rest today. The tabernacle on Temple Square was near capacity as family, friends, and dignitaries remembered the man who spent most of his adult life in church service. He always said, never postpone a prom team. President Ballard's son Craig remembers how his father served. Often he would be returning from an assignment weary and jet lagged, but instead of going home, he would ask me to accompany him to the hospital or to someone's home to give a blessing. Fellow apostles, elders Cook and Holland, just happened to serve in the same mission in England as President Ballard when they were all young men. For the next three years, we cherished those long hours laboring together in England and Scandinavia, laughing and crying and loving the work, eating fish and chips on the run, and avoiding loot fisk at Christmas time. <laughs> he was a warm bridge builder with a great sense of humor and was kind to everyone. He was wise and tried to keep things simple. He was inclusive and invited everyone into his circle. Bishop Oscar Solis of the Catholic Diocese of Utah called him a dear friend. A friend, a good friend who reached out to me when I first came to Utah. He was one of the first elders or the apostle that I met and uh, it has been a wonderful, beautiful friendship since then on. We have known and loved President Ballard for a long time. It is a very tender day because it's hard for us to think that he's left the world. Absolutely marvelous man, an uncommon man who understood how to get things done. We know uh, from the eternal perspective that we will, we will see him again and then um, and we know that um, he was a good person. Earlier this week, I spoke with President Ballard's biographer about how his passing leaves a big hole in church leadership. And uh, this uh, integrity, that heritage, we've lost now the one that had our link back to Joseph, Hiram, early days, martyrdom. That's a huge loss, but... Uh... I think we've lost one that that really thought about the one and uh, so humble. <laughs> it would be impossible to measure President Ballard's impact for good during his sojourn in mortality. As a young missionary to Great Britain, as a mission president in Toronto, and as a general authority, he has traversed the globe many times teaching and testifying of Jesus Christ and the restoration of his gospel. President Ballard's wife Barbara passed away five years ago and in his last two talks in General Conference, he referenced his own passing. Those who knew him expressed how much he loves Barbara and was anxious to be with her again. M. Russell Ballard was interred in the Salt Lake City Cemetery.